Hey yo! Welcome back to Ray from Jackman Games, a Padawan story. We are here. I know I know a little bit about Ray in general, but I don't know if you guys know a little bit about Ray. So, Ray, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. <laughs> How you guys doing? Thanks for having me, Monk. Um, so I am Ray from Jackalman Games, and uh, I am active duty, United States Army. Uh, so that's a little bit about myself. Uh, super big into horror movies. Uh, I have two kids, uh, two sons, and I'm married to my wife, Catherine. Uh, so that's that's kind of a little bit about me. Um, I don't know what else you need there, Monk. <laughs> Honestly, I don't either, man. Like, I'm still building on this. But at least they know a little bit about you that they probably didn't know before. So that's, uh, okay. I think that's good. All right, consider it a win. All right, I think we're going to win this. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this anymore, man. You know my stuff, man. I usually just bullshit the most of it. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so we already mulligan, so let's roll off here. All right, yeah, I'm going to get rid of these two, my friend. Okay. And I got the same two back. Fantastic. Awesome. Don't you love when that happens? All right, man. I got a 3-4. I got 26. No, I got 6. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, God, you're already going to get 5 billion shields. Let's go with mine. Okay. I'm going to die. All right, so if you guys didn't see what this guy is playing, all right, so I asked to see what he wanted to play. He's like, I want to work on this thing. Poe Ayla, pretty much R2-P2, number two. And against my, my up-and-coming deck, so I'm going to get annihilated here. So please, I already know comments, okay? Uh, but no, uh, how long have you been in the Army, man? Uh, I've been in for just about five years, uh, coming up to, to five years here. Uh, it's been uh, a wild ride, I'll say, you know, to say the least. Oh, I got you, man. All right, um, I'm supposed to be playing while talking. It's not really going well already. I'll pay two, put out a Y-Wing, use the battlefield. Yep, that's a good play. Um, I'm going to pay two, and I'll throw down a Pose Blaster. Awesome, man. Uh, where are you stationed at right now? So I'm in Fort Drum, New York. Uh, I like to refer to it as the frozen tundra. Uh -huh. because it's like the coldest place in America. Uh, it, it competes with Alaska. It's crazy. We're only like 16 miles away from, uh, from the Canadian border. So you're going to steal my resource. And I'm, I'm not. Play that. Oh, that's never good already. Oh, okay, that's good. That's... Uh... All right. That's what that Profitable Connections gives me. Killing me, Smalls. Oh, there you go. I'll take that all day. All right, double specials. Easy pickings? That was my question. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... <Let's> see. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's actually get the like, Destiny stuff that a lot of, a lot of people want to know. Uh, okay. Just because the way the Force is such a thing, Store Champs are, are a thing. So are you planning on going to any Store Champs soon or no? Yeah, it is difficult uh, being in the military. Uh, you know, your scheduling is kind of out of whack. And I'm trying to go to some store champs in uh, New Jersey. That's where I'm originally from. Uh huh. Uh, kind of hitting up my boys, uh, Jack and uh, the Golden Dice guys, and going to be playing with them. So uh, I'll try to hit up like one or two. Um, and I'm really not sure what I want to play yet. Uh, so this is, this is something that's kind of in contention. Uh, but we'll see. I got you, man. So here's the, here's the real question, though. Are you going to try to go, uh, because Hyperlux put out that little contest, what was it? Either if you were, if you win with Palpatine, you get something, and if you win with Greedo, is it Greedo? I don't know. I think it was, like, Royal Guard. Oh, Royal Guard? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, you should totally do it, man. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and change that thing over there. Okay, that's a smart move. Uh, to, and... That's it for me, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to guard that Y-Wing. 
Interesting play. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll out the wedgie. Okay. Uh, and a break. Let's, uh, hmm. So is there any uh, good stores you want to shout out right now because of you trying to go to those store championships? Uh, yeah, so I also play Magic the Gathering because I'm scum like that. Uh, but uh, it is called Top Deck, and it is uh, in a little place called Haddonfield, New Jersey. No one knows uh, that. So yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, so that's my my local meta. You know, when I'm back in Jersey, and uh, great store, great owners, uh, and I really haven't been able to get down there for too many Star Wars Destiny um, events. But from what I hear from Jack, is they they do a really nice job there. So I'm pretty excited for that. I gotcha. I'm gonna go ahead and man, I have decisions here. You know what? I'm just going to pass. Pass. Hmm. All right. What could I be planning? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> um, let's see here. You're playing a vehicle's deck. It just doesn't... I don't know how aggressive I want to be. Damage or... Let's go... Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not playing a vehicle's deck. <laughs> Let's uh, resolve two discard on you. Two discard, all right. That works for me. Uh, you use yours over here, my friend. Just shuffle okay. up and discard me. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Don't do it. Don't get rid of it. No. Ah, oh, I hate you. All right, I'm pleased with it. I hate you so much right now. Anyway, so <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and then I guess pass. Pass, okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Let's see. Uh, Way of the Force is out. Uh, yes. Right now, I'm pretty sure everything else has been spoiled by now, <laughs> by the time this thing comes out. But um, what, what, yeah, what, which one's your favorite one at this current moment in time, which is 22 June? Um, I am most excited about Plo Koon. Uh, I got some heavy thoughts here. Let me see this. Uh, all right, I'll just take a dollar. Yay! Get your dollar. Um. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> discard to reroll. This has been such um, an eventful first turn. Yeah, flip it over. You do your uh, best. let's go to two indirect. Two indirect. Okay. Um. Let's uh. Let's hit wedge. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Let's hit, let's hit Ezra. Ezra, Ezra. I'm sorry, sir. Missed opportunity. <laughs> I'll get rid of your shields, man. Okay. Well, good. you know, it's too, inter it's too indirect, but I'm pretty sure you're going to get, yeah. Um, how risky do I want to be? Sure, let's go for it. Oh, my God. And does it pay off? Okay, I'll take resources. All right, yeah. All right, um, but yeah, Plo Koon is who I'm most excited about. I think that starting off with, um, you know, so many, so many ways to drop upgrades is huge, and uh -huh. no other deck can really do that. And my hand is horrible. It's cool. I rolled a, a blank Ezra die, so. All right, let's. See. But no, okay, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that Plo Koon's gonna be able to do this set, which is gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, I really think the Plo Koon 2 Padawan build is nuts. Okay. Right here. Let's uh let's get C three PO in here. Uh let's see here. Um There are some like silly things you can do with the uh the double Padawan Plo Koon. Um, you just jam your deck filled with uh, two cost upgrades mm -hmm. and just go to town. I mean, you could drop three with two resources, which is nuts. Um, and if you want to include some three cost upgrades in there, you certainly can. Uh, I just think it's it's pretty good. I gotcha. Oh, switch it. Yep. I got you. 
No, yeah, I'm very excited, man. I'm still freaking excited with my mini palp, dude. Oh, yeah, a little Cassian Little there. Cassian, yep. He is going to be ridiculous. <sighs> do I or do I not? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm going to resolve two discard, or, yep, two discard. Okay. Do two more over here? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's fine with me. I have no weapon. I have none. A planned explosion? What are you running over here? <laughs> uh, now you know my secret. Man, you got rid of that Ayla dice pretty quick. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to deal with that shenanigans. <laughs> let's, uh... So have you made anything crazy with uh, the Plo Koon yet? Uh, just the Plo Koon 2 Padawans is really what I've been playing. I, if the set, you know, drops and I have enough time uh, before the store champ, I'll probably play that. Uh -huh. uh, you know, because we do have access to um, to the spoilers and uh, getting them on TTS. So I have been able to play it, uh, and I really do like it. Let's shove three on Ezra. I gotcha. All right, let's get a two on Poe. Yep. On two. Okay, here. Let's see. Kind of a bad spot. Um. Hmm. Do, do, do. Decisions, decisions. Throw the force illusion down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ditch and tangle to reroll everything. Hey! Stuff like that happens. That's Star Wars Destiny for you. Alright, one to two, two. Okay, so let's do. And some resources can't doesn't get much better than that. Um, if my math is correct, if I take one of these away, easy pickings coming out, <laughs> and do that. Okay. It blocks two damage. As opposed yep. To and I'll do the four. All right. I'll so do the eight. Sorry. Eight coming at me, so I'm gonna pop four here. Okay. And you can do one of them with that resource if you want. Yeah. Uh, everyone, like a lot of people forget that for some damn reason. Yeah, um... Up to you. I will take four amongst the two of them. Sounds good. And then I'm going to claim. Okay. And I might as well take these money. Okay. And that's it, my friend. All right. Uh, what else? So... Yeah, uh, have a favorite card overall, in general, in the whole Star Wars... Plethora of cards. Let's see. Uh, probably my favorite card, and this is unpopular, but uh, is probably Django. You crazy? Uh, I know. Uh, it's more sentimental, <laughs> just because I um, have had a lot of success with uh, Django Balo Trooper uh, from way back in the day. So let me see. What do I want to get rid of here? Uh, I got you, man. No boba, huh? Django. Yeah, Django. Django Fat. It's probably my favorite card. Did you get the alt art yet? I know you you already do. Oh, you know I do. Oh yeah. Hmm. This isn't getting any better with these upgrades here. Alright. Uh Where do you think of the meta that's going on right now, man? Um You gotta play, you gotta play while you talk. Come on, man. I think it's in it here we go. Okay. <laughs> uh I'm gonna hit and run. Okay. Uh, I think it's in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, I just am pretty nervous to see what way the, uh, way the force has to offer, because let's do uh, resolve special. Um, hmm. it's gonna get rid of a dice. <sighs> hmm, this is tough. The decisions to be had here. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh. 
Mm-hmm. Let's do the three into Ezra. Um, he is gone. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be a true shakeup once uh, Way of the Force, you know, drops. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited about that, but also pretty nervous because we've had so much time with these cards. So, you know, I'm very familiar with them, um, you know, different lines of play. Uh, so, you know, taking on a whole new uh, new meta is going to be pretty scary. What do you think? What do you think of the spoilers that you and Jedi Geek Girl just put out? Like your Jacqueline Games as a whole, as well as I Rebel. Um, I was excited. I really like Dark Ritual. I think someone's going to break it, and it's going to be awesome. Uh huh. Um, so, uh, some of them were kind of a little lackluster. I wasn't that impressed, um, uh-huh. especially like the. Um, are you taking a dollar? What are you doing? Especially like the closing the deal one. Oh, nice. Um. Let's see. Yeah, closing the deal looks freaking pretty spicy, man. You have to yeah. pass all the rest of your turns, and you get freaking how many resources? Five resources. Jesus. I wasn't impressed with the um, with the yellow plot card. I don't even remember this name. It's a uh, whatever. Well, you guys know what it is. Uh, but it, yeah, it just I got seem you. Like it has a home. All right. Let's, uh... Hmm. Mm-hmm. So two resources. All the questions to be had here. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. All right. I'll do two damage to... Uh, blah, 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 to him. To the wedge, huh? Yes. All right. Uh, throw on the other white wing, yeah? Another blank. That is what we like to see. It is good stuff. Uh, there is a very popular um, YouTube channel that <laughs> is uh, right here with us, apparently. All right, so that will be eight total damage. Let's uh, let's grab one of C3's dice. Oh, okay. Let's roll out the Ayla. I see. Okay, okay. It's slightly annoying. Uh, I gotta go on the defense, removing that, and give an old Poe three shields. Looks nice. Rolling the wedge. One disrupt. Wedge, you're better than this. Hmm. Uh, let's just claim because I really don't think I have much options here. All right, so let's go ahead and I probably should have disrupted you and it's pro- it's going to it's going to bother me, but we'll yep. see. Oh, old Fang Fighter. Fang Fighter coming out. I'm liking this deck so far. I think it's fun. It is a very entertaining Oh, come on, Smalls. <laughs> It is a very entertaining deck. Um, I really want to use this, but we're kind of far into this by now to be using this damn card. Yeah. I mean, you have an, enough vehicles out there to threaten, so it's it kind of it's, it's past doing its job. There you go. Okay. Was that okay. was that a? Yeah, that was two under it. All right. Yep. All right. So that's good. So then I'm gonna wedge thing to do this. Somewhere in there. Yep. There it is. All right. So I could do seven to somebody right now. That would just put her on the outside, wouldn't it? So you can do three are here, four are here. So that would put you to six out of your eleven. Yeah, let's go ahead and do seven to Ayla. Okay. Do four. Okay, so I'll take uh, one, two, three, four. Got to do it. 
All right. That'll do four indirect. All right, one, two, three, and bump that up to three. Well, that was a big turn. And pass. Okay. Um. Oh God. I already saw that card anyway. Thank God. I'm sorry. Right. Can't play it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. Um. Let's see here. Decisions. Well, yeah. So, let's see what else. Oh, just in general, man. What What is something that the Star Wars Destiny community doesn't know about you that that you're afraid to tell them? Doesn't know about me, and I, they're afraid. To, oh, I recently started to. Uh, <laughs> no one cares about magic. It's pretty, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not. It might even be worse. So I just spent a crap load of money on. Um, let's do reaping the crystals. I think this is a bad plan, but we'll see. Into that. Nice. Um, I recently spent a lot of money on Dragon Ball Super cards. Oh no! So I'm trying to possibly build up a meta with that because I know for a fact that no one's playing that game right now. What are you thinking? I know, like I spent a like a disgraceful amount of money. I even got hosed on like one of those things on eBay that was like, um, you know, buy this box, a bunch of great cards for only twenty dollars, and I bought it, and it was lackluster. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was horrendous. I felt hosed. I was like, I don't know a lot about the game, but I was like, there's a bunch of commons and uncommons. <laughs> How dare you? No, I got you, man. That uh, that must have been pretty detrimental to you. Let's see here. Yeah. Um. Let's run out of the fang fire. Yeah. There's a two. All right, all right. So we got a stick showing three right now. Fang barrel die. Uh, let's uh. Hmm. <laughs> damage or money? Let's go and hit you for some damage. Killer. Right. I could have done that last turn, but of course I was paying attention to these damn questions. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so since we are on the 22nd of June, is there any other cards that you think are going to be coming out this set? Uh, I'd be surprised if they do spoil more. Uh, I think that we've gotten a decent amount already. They did tease that they're going to bring out or give a nice little teaser on Snoke on, uh, uh, like, through one of their articles. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what Snoke is going to do with the card. Yeah, I think that that's gonna be good. So, it would be pretty, pretty crazy. Let's get out this other Y wing. Oh, another two. This is turning out to be very nice. All right, I don't know if this will be good for me, but I'll sound the. You're sounding it. There's a two. That is better for you. All right. There's two disrupt. Okay. 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 Let's, uh, hmm. decisions. Let's roll them in. This guy's going to be a powerhouse right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Woo! Swing and a miss. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, the most you can do is three here. You can get a couple shields through this, right? But let's get rid of that die then. Yep, that is a good one. All right. Hmm, putting me in a tough spot. Let's uh, resolve this for two ranged. Okay, two ranged coming here. Uh, let's go ahead and do two damage to him. Put three more into wedge. Two and three. That's seven out of eleven. That's scary as hell. Uh, let's go ahead and pay tech team. Pay one. Yep. Put out this air spear. Yeah, this isn't this isn't gonna turn out well. So I saw other innovations of this, but I knew I can like do something with it. Yeah. No. It's certainly wedge is kind of a. a pain because he can flip one of these dice over so even if you roll bad yeah i guess he discard to re-roll it's all uh, about that consistency yeah these two make it consistent 
Um, Wait, right? That's what Joe says all the time, right? Oh, yeah. Consistency is key. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm really just going to have to pass here. Oh, no. A little tied to the vehicle. All right, throw out this crew, this airspeeder thing. So I'm good. All right, that does not do much for me. I need two cards, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, for more rerolls. You can definitely kill him this turn, so I'm going to have to keep passing. Hmm. All right, so you're at five right now, right? Yep, so six health remaining. You have no monies. No monies, no shields. <laughs> Spoiler, no mitigation. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's the question. So you are formerly Thundershot. Yes. So what came about to to make you a Jackalman? Uh, so I had done some content with them before and we had all gotten along really well. Uh, I had used to have a co-host on, uh, Thundershot Games and he just, uh, really didn't have time to, to do it. I know it is uh, a lot to ask sometimes, uh, when, you know, we're not getting paid to push out content. We do it because we want to build the community and we want to make, uh, Star Wars Destiny a great game. So he kind of faded away. Uh, with his commitment, and you know that's fine. We're still friends. It's not it's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I reached out to the to Kevin and Ashton, and I'm gonna pass again. <laughs> and uh, just basically told them. So what's that? Three, two, four. One, two, three, four. And told them, you know, like, hey, uh, if you guys are looking for a third member, let me know. Uh, and they kind of went nuts about it. I think you got game already. Yeah. Power action. Yeah. I didn't know if you had mitigation or not. No, I really have nothing. Uh, <laughs> but, um, oh, that's nice hand. <laughs> <laughs> but they reached out, and uh, or I reached out to them, excuse me, and uh, basically just were saying, hey, like, if, if you guys uh, need an extra guy, uh, let me know. Uh, because it was getting, you know, I, I give credit to, like, Monk and, and Amanda, uh, Jedi Geek Girl, uh, because being a solo operation is very difficult, um, and everything relies on you, uh, promoting, editing, uh, everything. So I just basically told them, you know, at this point, you know, with my life, my schedule, uh, I'd really like a team to to kind of be with. And to my surprise, they were like super ecstatic that I was uh, willing to join their team. So you know, I came on board, and uh, the rest is history, I guess. No, that's freaking nuts, man. But I already know everyone in the moment is like appreciating the hell out of you joining up with uh, the Jackalman. Since you're like completely featured now, right? You're that you're exclusively Jackalman Games, no longer a Thundershot. No, like I still have, the, <laughs> I still have the Thundershot Games YouTube up. Um, uh, all right, I'll tell you another thing that the Destiny community doesn't know is uh, I uh -oh. will say that. Uh, through doing content creating with Star Wars Destiny, it has opened up my eyes to uh, kind of do uh, other passions of mine, uh, but using the same kind of uh, skills that you would acquire through, uh, you know, editing and doing podcasts, stuff like that. So I'm actually going to drop a horror movie review podcast. Oh, what? Yeah, that's kind of in the works. Uh, I'm just going to have fun with it. Um, and... Uh, just do my own thing, really. Uh, it'll be like neat sound bites and things like that. But uh, I, I think that's what I'm going to do, just because I have such a passion for horror movies. And uh, hopefully, people want to hear what I have to say about them. No, that's freaking incredible, man! Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to check it out. And I think every uh, single one of you guys should be checking it out too, right when it <laughs> drops out. Thanks. I'll promote it and everything like that, but. Um, it's actually something my wife, cause <laughs> my wife puts up with, uh, the card games that I play, but she calls me a big nerd and I'm cool with that. Uh -huh. But, uh, she was very uh, much encouraging, uh, the horror movie, uh, podcast review. Uh, she's like, this is actually something I wouldn't be ashamed of sharing on my Facebook. And I was like, oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm not taking it too serious. Uh, I obviously want to put out, uh, fun things, but. It's just going to be kind of like my little side project. I gotcha. Well, thank you again, man. Like, I know I've been grilling you trying to play this game while, while asking all the questions. Um, 
hopefully this was a crazy enough match for you. I don't know what you're like. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think the I think the build definitely has some legs. Um, I, I you know initially wanted to go after Ezra uh, because of the the spot yellow, but then quickly realized I was kind of ripping out all of the meaningful yellow cards in your hand. Um, he also is kind of that guy that people don't mind to into the garbage chute like you have right there. Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Wedge is a pain to deal with because he is like a Yoda for vehicles. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. But I, I like what you're doing here. Every, you know, everyone knows that Poe Ayla is a, a beast, but I don't know what tweaks and stuff like you, that you've done, but... Oh, is this yeah. your store champ deck, or is it some something trying to beat the store champ? It's it's in the running. Um, I I really am a huge fan of R two P two. Oh yeah. And I just kind of wanted to see how it would play out, and I've been playtesting this deck for about like a week. Um, I've had pretty good success. Uh, the big thing that R two P two does so well, uh, is they slowly uh kind of chip away at their opponent, and then you know they're they're healing up all the while. Uh, this game was a little rough, you know, dealing with vehicles and so many dice is a tough matchup just because we, you know, decks like this don't have uh, mass removal yeah, uh, and it doesn't really have access to a bunch of, you know, hard mitigation. Uh, you, you're really just looking to heal up and, and make your characters extremely difficult to, uh, to kill. Uh, so, you know, you have access to things like uh, ancient uh, lightsabers, field medics. Um, you can... You know, C3PO with two characters is a beast. Uh, so really, the the reason I'm I'm playing this or testing this out was because uh, I am losing kind of the pinging ability uh, of Ray. I'm losing yeah. one health, uh, but I am getting three dice with with damage sides, and uh, I get the profitable connections, which is huge. So uh, this was another big card. I uh, didn't really get to play it that much. I think I played it on the handcrafted, but. Uh, it's huge when you can slam down a three cost upgrade and then, you know, your second turn um, reaping the crystals and then slam down another one. So, yeah, that's it's brutal. All about putting out those big upgrades and then kind of uh, being able to special chain with both of these two is uh, is pretty nice. No, I like it. I like it a lot. And I can't wait to see you start placing these top tables, freaking hopefully getting that first place, man, with this deck. So. <laughs> I just gotta. My biggest competition is uh, Jack from Golden Dice. Uh, he top sixteen at Worlds, but he's he's probably he's not too much competition. I beat him several times before. He, he ain't nothing. He no, I'm kidding. He, I'm kidding. he ain't nothing. <laughs> no, Jack, not Jack, know. don't come, don't come beat me up now, please. All right. Uh, but no, thank you so much for uh, for being on, dude. Uh, it's like second ever uh, Padawan story. So you guys already know. Now you know a little bit more about Ray from Jackman Games. I uh, should be having more of the Jackman games on here. Is there anything else you want to say? You want to plug? You want, let's get some plug action, man. Uh, all right. Uh, not too too big on self promoting, but uh, uh, you can check me out at Jackman Games. Uh, it is Kevin Ashton and Ray. Uh, we make up the uh, Jackman, and uh, you know we have YouTube account, Facebook. Uh, I'm very active on Twitter. They kind of yell at me for being too active on Twitter. Uh, but that's kind of where I like to have fun. And, uh, you know, we push out gameplay videos and uh, we have podcasts. So we, we kind of try to spice it up and do a little bit of every, everything. Uh, but uh, I want to say thank you, Monk, for having me on. Uh, I appreciate you reaching out. Uh, you know, it was definitely a yes when, when Monk calls. Uh, he is like kind of one of those honorary jackalmen. Uh, Monk does his own thing. He's got the battlefield. Uh, but, you know, he's definitely a, a big friend of Jackalman Games. So uh, it was a definite yes to come on and uh, be featured on the Padawan story. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I just want to say thank you to you as well. No, thank you so much, man. It, it truly is appreciated. And I love the fact of working with you guys and connecting with you guys. I think you guys are building the community like in a very fast pace as well in, in such a good way. So that's why I always back you guys on everything that you guys do. So anytime, man. Yeah, I, I I was telling Monk he's like a he's like our biggest cheerleader and like one of our best friends when it comes to uh to content creators. So, uh you know we we appreciate what you do for us and uh, you know the relationship between content creators is kind of fun because it's people that you would never meet in real life. You would never I would never walk up to Monk in California and say, hey, do you play Star Wars Destiny? We should be friends. Uh, but 
it's it's a way that the internet is uh it's the good part of the internet uh that brings people together and i'll be honest like i've made so many friends uh through star wars destiny and through the content creators uh, it's a really great community and i think that um you know if you get out to your locals and you, you meet up with people that play star wars destiny uh, i'm sure you'll see the same thing yeah man it's it's the same and it's all about building this damn great community that we all know and love about this damn game that we all know and we all love and we want to see it continually continually grow to the extent of like magic or something even better you know what i mean so yeah, it's going to be up there. I'm telling you, if the, if the game stays true to, uh, you know, how it was designed and, um, you know, doesn't stray too far away from uh, just the essence of the game, uh, where it's, you know, you take an action, I take an action. Uh, maybe I might action cheat a little bit here and there uh, with cards like Wedge or, or these two fools. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, I, I think that the game uh, design was like, it, it's a beautiful game. And uh, I think if we keep pushing this out and, you know, bringing the people closer to the actual game, uh, then it, it can certainly be one of the uh, the big three. Let's hope and let's see it get there, right? Yeah, of course. All right, man. But um, all the links that he described about the Jackman games, uh, Thundershot games, all that stuff, is all going to be in the description below, guys. So I suggest you go check them out if you haven't done so already, if you're under a rock. Uh, if you are not under a rock and already uh, subscribe to them, all that stuff. Please, again, go subscribe to Jacobin Games. Uh, if you guys like Star Wars Destiny content, tabletop simulator content, or just want to talk some BS about Star Wars in general, you're more than welcome to join Jacobin's Discord, my Discord, all the other 5 billion Discords that they have on all content creators. Um, and we're always on there talking a whole lot of smash about everything about uh, uh, Star Wars, Star Wars Destiny, uh, literature, all that kind of stuff, man. So uh all that stuff is going to be linked in the description below as well anything else you want to say ray no i talk too much thanks a lot monk yeah we both do man it's it's killer <laughs> hey again thank you so much for coming in and guys you already know i'll catch you guys next time on the battlefield have a good one everyone peace